Hello everyone. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. I'm Norma and I am your uh, artist for tonight and I say that loosely. <coughs> uh, as you can see my canvas is purple and we all know why that happens. Scraped it off. <coughs> yes. I didn't have enough um, paint on it so the other paints wouldn't move so I am pretty certain that I have enough paint now so I'm willing to try it again and this is um, a custom color because of the scrapings which seems to be pretty close to the canvas but I did have less than this last time and then I put all the colors on there and it didn't work so I scraped it all off and since it was all purples it kept the same tone anyway so <coughs> excuse me I am going to sorry about the noise I mean I pick now to do this because everybody's pretty quiet around the neighborhood and the guy comes across the street to, to cut the grass so <laughs> oh well so I am going to go ahead and put this on here and then I am going to um oh gee it sure doesn't look like there's enough huh well I'll just have to scrape it another time so I'm gonna speed you up while I smooth this out Okay, so I've spread the paint around, but I really don't feel there's enough. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to go ahead and put my colors down. And I'm going to go ahead and blow them out with the hair dryer and see what I get. Because I may be able to put enough paint on it with my colors that I can you know that I can um, stand it it will be enough to cover my sides and everything because this doesn't look real good so I, I, it's all covered um, but I do see light spots. Okay, well, we're going to go back to um, adding the colors, blowing it out, and seeing how that works. Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. It kind of looks um, reddish, but it's still a violet. And then I'm going to use the 14 karat gold from Deco Art, Mauve from Holbein, Purple from Master's Touch, uh, Dioxazine Purple from Looks With Text Basics, and then I'm going to put this bright luminous rose by Holbein, Holbein right in the middle of the two darkest purples, and this is Dioxazine Violet by Holbein. And uh, the only metallic I have in here is the gold, and I wished I would have more, which means I can reach behind me and get something, huh? But um, I don't have anything in lavender colors. So, Shoot. all right, here goes. We're going to do this. Prism Violet. Now, 
I had originally that was my original pattern. I think I'll just keep that. And then a little bit of gold. Gold can take over, so I'm be a little bit lenient with it. This is Mauve by Holbein. This is Purple by Master's Touch. Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. This is a really dark color. I keep wanting to take the detour. Now here comes the color I did not use last time, but this is Luminous Rose by Holbein and it, it it is very bright very beautiful color and I am just going to try and make a thin line of it so we don't have to see it doesn't overtake everything there there's a piece of paper towel in there and now the last one is the Dioxazine Violet by Holbein Oh, I was going to add right here. I was going to add a little bit more gold. Very little. Very little. And then this is dioxazine violet. I squeezed that really hard, didn't I? Okay, gonna even it out a little bit. Now I don't know whether I should put another color somewhere else or what, but I'm just gonna let it go. And here we go. Oh, God, yeah, I'm a little nervous about this. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna try on low first.
Well, I wanted to blow with my mouth, but I'm not very good at that, and I have a tool, so I'm going to try it. We'll see if it moves anything. No, it's not going to. I love the colors. I got that. I'm sure it's this probably dioxazine violet that is so dark it looks black. But I'm glad I put that pink in there. I can see that just little peaks of it coming out, but you know that it's that it's under there. Looks good. I like it. It's beautiful. It's just like it just travels forever. All in all, I don't think it's too bad. As a matter of fact, anybody that loves purple is going to absolutely love this. Yes. I'm still working on the narrow canvases, the level one. Okay, this is gorgeous. I really like it. Okay, let's bring you down so you can share in my enthusiasm. Okay. So you see how I have a raised part and then a low part. You can see it over there, raised and lowered. We'll see how that turns out. But as far as this goes, oh my goodness. It is just beautiful. I am so excited. I'm so glad I put that luminous rose in there. It just brightened everything up. Look at that. Very, very different. Look at that. Love that. That's from different kinds of paint. No silicone used. And let's see if I turn off my overhead. I still have my studio lights on, but let's see if we can see the shimmer. Hmm. I don't, I can't see it with the camera. There you go. There's the shimmer. And a pair is a bunch of gold too. And that's all shimmery. And then over here, it is spread out along the purple. As you can see. Yes. That is gorgeous yes so I would say this is a success until it dries I guess better not say that till it dries and then we'll take a good look at it and make sure that um, maybe the sides might need to be touched up and I can do a little scrape on that cup and see if I can get it touched up from there but it'll be interesting to see if this flattens out over here flattens out here that's really flat right there and then you have some raised so we'll see how that works okay thanks for stopping in and visiting me and watching my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe there should be a little button over here somewhere yeah, yeah, I don't know. My fingers don't point the right way. Maybe down here? Sometimes it, I think, uh, YouTube moves things. But please set the bell. Subscribe and set the bell to all. And then you'll get notifications when I post a new video. Which isn't a lot. But I do the best I can with the time that I have. And I'm retired, so you'd think I'd have plenty of time. But I don't have a lot of room. I'm in my garage. I have this gigantic table to work on, but then it has to dry. And this will take probably two days to dry before I can do another one. And then I have to figure out if I want to do another one. So what I want to do with another one. <laughs> so until then, you all take it easy. Have a great day, a great week. And don't forget to come back and paint with me. Bye.